What's up guys and welcome back to another video right into my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to basically tell you how to uh, fix crashing on sort of in dialing, Dying Light 2. So stick to the end guys, this will be a step-by-step -step tutorial and in the end you'll probably know what to do in order to fix this issue. Before we start right into the video, I just want to you guys know, let you guys know that I would really really appreciate it if you would just leave a like, a comment or a subscription right into my YouTube channel. It would really make my day and help me out as a little YouTuber as I am. Especially subscribing would be such a big support for me guys. You would support my work on YouTube a little bit and I'm gonna really really be thankful for that and I'm gonna thank you for that. So anyways, I would just say let's get right started. So as the first step I would recommend doing for everybody is gonna be to open up your task manager by using the shortcut on navigating down to your taskbar, right clicking it and opening up your task manager. What I want you to do next is gonna be really simple. So navigate to the top left corner of your screen, clicking onto processes. And afterwards, just click one of those random processes and search by suit uh, for dying light by typing in D. If nothing pops up, it's good for you. If something pops up, just simply right click and end the task. You're just ensuring that your uh, game is not running in the background. And once you're finished, you should be able to end the task manager again. As the next step, I want you to search for your shortcut for Steam or your dying light shortcut on your desktop. And if you don't have it on your desktop, just simply go to the bottom left corner of your screen. Use the Windows search function in order to find it and drag it right onto your desktop. So let's quickly come back, um, take it, right click it and go to run as an administrator. Once this one, you click it, your Steam will pop up and you need to launch your dying light. And if you click your shortcut, your dying light will, show, will pop up. If nothing happens, uh, I'm going to help you out with the next step by just right clicking your shortcut again and going down to the properties. Clicking onto compatibility and simply copy my settings. So let's quickly run through it. Compatibility mode, enable run this program in compatibility mode for it. Select Windows 8. Click onto enable run this program as an administrator and hit apply and OK. I would personally recommend you to restart your PC afterwards and once it is restored, it, you should be able to see this little administrator symbol. So double click your shortcut and launch it. I hope you guys that I could actually help you out of this one. If it was like that, just leave a like, a comment or a subscription. I'm really, I'm gonna really be thankful for that. And yeah, guys, I hope that I could have actually help you out. But if not, I'm really sorry, but I'm just here in order to help you out. And I'm just gonna do my best in order to help you out. So either way, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. See you at the next one and bye.